Hey there, I'm Barbie Van Horn. This is Finding Fine Chocolate. And today I'm going to talk about texture as it applies to the entire flavor experience or tasting experience that you have when you have a chocolate bar. So keep this in mind when you're picking out your next chocolate bar. Today, as an example, I'm going to use French Broad Chocolates. And they have a fabulous uh, Palo Bal Blanco, I don't think I'm saying that right, community from Peru. 81% dark chocolate bar made with panela and unrefined Peruvian brown sugar. So on the surface, you can't see too much difference. It just looks like a regular chocolate bar. But when you pop it in your mouth, you get a huge flavor explosion that is molassesy, as well as you notice that the texture is much more gritty. And I think that that is coming from the texture of the unrefined brown sugar in the chocolate. So keep in mind that when you have this experience, you've got the aroma, what you're smelling, you can really smell the molasses, heat, sugar in the smell, in the scent of this chocolate. You've got the tastes, and that's the sweet, sour, umami, bitter, those tastes that are going on in your mouth. And then you've also got the texture, and all three of those work together to make the flavor experience in your mouth for that chocolate bar that you're tasting. This one ends up with that typical Peruvian um, high acidity note it turns into a really fruity note at the very very end so the end notes are really fruity but throughout the process of tasting this you've got the molasses you've got the texture you've got the dark chocolate and then you've got this high fruity note at the end it's a fabulous journey to go on when you're tasting chocolate to have a bar like this so thank you very much french broad chocolates for making bars like this that take us on those fun journeys keep it up and i hope to see you next time on finding fine chocolates